Um, I want to I want to thank you so much for coming. This really has been a lot of fun for us to do it. Uh, it really allows our staff to stretch a little bit and to uh, challenge themselves to come up with new dishes. We've done four of these and we've done different dishes every time, so they're they're getting a lot of clubs in their bag, so to speak. A, a, a great uh, a batch of uh, great things in their repertoire. Uh, the last dish is. Teddy, uh, Teddy went to the CIA and uh, Teddy Lelutis, his parents had Zorba's back in the day and that was the pizza place when I was a kid. Teddy's was a finance major at, at uh, Florida State, didn't go to Florida, but that's okay. Uh, grew up with my girls and is a young man that's worked for us for off and on for a lot of years. And then he went to pursue his real passion, which was the Culinary Institute of America. And now he is baking. So the rustic bread that you had earlier with the Batarga course is made fresh every day by Teddy, as is the scone that you are having with our Gamble Creek strawberries and a little uh, Roselle sauce that is from the organic community gardens that you saw. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, Ian Fairweather is our chef here, and he's the guy that keeps coming up with these great dishes, and I want you to give him a hand. Ian will be at Forks and Corks tomorrow with our other three, two chefs, feeding 1,500 people some insanely great items. So if you've got fortunate enough to get tickets to Forks and Corks, our Lola Wines will be there, and uh, some of our wild pig will be there, and some of our salmon and Teddy's breads, and Ian will be heading up the sandbar effort. Joe Rogers is the general manager of the restaurant. is responsible for all the operations. I want to thank the staff that did a great job. I want to thank Karen Hodge. I want you to remember that the studio at Gulf and Pine is mom's project. Mom is 84. When she was 75, mom who has done 28 houses and Florida house in Washington and all kind of things when she was in the governor's mansion and partnering with my dad. Uh, grass doesn't grow under mom's feet. At 75, when I bought the restaurant that had closed down there, Mom allowed if she wanted to do an art gallery. Uh, I don't get in mom's way. If mom is froggy, I tell her to jump. Uh, she jumped and created what is a tremendous community asset, and it is there for you to use for your enjoyment to come in and see the art. If you want to have a dinner there, a reception there, a corporate event there. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that and kind of, uh, kind of close the loop, if you will. Karen Hodge, our marketing director, thank you very much for putting all of this together. Thank you to the madman and one of the most passionate, energetic people I've ever met, Mike Miller, and uh, Mike Coleman, who wasn't with us. And thank you most of all to all of you for your interest in, your, uh, in what we're doing. And we look forward to staying acquainted. I hope you get to read the books and Wild Pigs in all three of the restaurants and all of the Botargas in all three of the restaurants and even Moat Caviar that we're partnered up with and all of the Lodal lines. So enjoy this great day we've got. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.